Hello and welcome to 3DHP. In today's video I'm going to show you how I crimp JST connectors. I really recently got on Amazon, I ordered a kit, came with a crimping tool, JST connectors, and DuPont connectors. In today's video I'm not going to really talk about the DuPont connectors, but the tool that was sent with my kit is not for JST, these are for DuPont connectors. So I had to get back on Amazon and order another set of crimpers where the jaws are much narrower and I'll also show you how I connect barrel connectors. I'm working on my hypercube here and I need some connectors so jumped online, ordered a set, I'd like to share with you what I learned and how I do it. Maybe it'll help you out. First off, I wanted to show you my two uh, crimpers here. Here's the first one. This is the one that came with the set and these are for DuPont connectors. And as you can see, the teeth are very wide and they ratchet down and hold in whatever position you want. And the ones I reordered are the smaller set here. And as you can see, they're very narrow. That way I can just get this specific spot on the connector I want to crimp without crimping the whole thing at once. So I've taken out some of my connectors here. I'm just going to take one and crimp it off there. There's like a little divider there that separates them. Just cut one off. And if the camera will focus, it's kind of hard to see. Here's the end of the connector that goes on your control board. And there's a real small crimp spot right behind it that's flat. And then there's a taller one, which is like kind of a V shape. And then this end piece. Now this end piece will break off after we're done. I don't want to bend this up out of the way when I put it in the crimper. I want to use that to hold on to. It makes it much easier for me to work with. And of course, I have to wear my glasses being older and I got plenty of light to see what I'm doing. So, got some wire here. It's going to crimp off about an eighth of an inch. It's barely nothing. It's barely nothing. Very small amount there. Now, if I crimp off too much, and I go to insert it in the connector, it's going to stick up here in the end where it goes on the control board. And the pin on the control board needs to be able to go in there. So you don't want any copper wire in there. Simply take your wire, bend the other ones back out of the way. Lay that down in the fitting. You got to make sure that the second crimp mark is on the sheeting the green cup casing for the wire so it crimps it and holds it. I take my crimpers, I go to the 1.6 mark for the small one. And squeeze. And the first one is done. And then still holding it. I go to the 1.9 mark for the second one. Now those are spread apart a little bit. Let me squeeze them together just slightly. A little excess copper wire sticking out of the front there off to crimp off. And now that little metal tab that's on the back, I'll simply bend that back and forth a few times, it'll break right off. Let me do a second one here. Take my wire strippers barely strip off a little bit. It's stranded wire so twist it together make sure they're not apart. Get a second connector and cut it off. We'll go back to the 1.6 and remember the open side of the connector that's apart 
goes up inside the jaws with a 1.6. Hold that in place, give it a quick little squeeze, and that one's crimped. Then the other two, which are spread apart, they're kind of spread apart like this, and I closed them, closed them up a little bit more. Put that in the 1.9. And give it a quick little squeeze, and there, second one is done. Now be sure when you're crimping multiple wires, once you finish one, bend the first one out of the way. You don't want to accidentally get this end caught in the jaws and you smash it. Because if you, if, you, if you bend that square end there, it's not going to go into your connector. So be sure you bend them out of the way as you work with each one. If you should accidentally screw one up, crimp them all off and start over. That way your wires are all the same length. Then when you grab your JST connector, this one here is a three-wire uh, three JST connector. <clears throat> On the back of these, there's a small little piece of metal that sticks up in the air. And that goes on that side right there, once you stick it in. And some people say you'll hear it click. I can feel it click, I don't hear it, but I can, I can feel it. My ears aren't what they used to be. You simply have that piece in, you slide it in the first hole with that little prong up in the air. And if you slip it in all the way, it'll click into place. And there we go, that one's locked. I can feel it, I can pull back, and it's not coming out. If you should put it in and it doesn't click after repeated attempts, like the second one appears to be bent a little bit, it's bent down, I will take a razor blade which I don't see one here available. You see, where's my razor blade? Alrighty. Okay, here I got a razor blade. Very carefully take a razor blade and you can grab that little piece right there and you can bend it up in there. But sometimes those get bent down in shipping or just in handling. And as you can see, if the camera will focus, Come on, camera. You're being difficult. A small little tab right here. I bent back up in there. That way, when I insert it into the JST, it will lock. Yep, and that one's locked. And that's good. And that's basically how you do a JST connector. Work with them. Now, moving on to the barrel connectors. I also bought some barrel connectors here. Because when I hook up my power wires, power wires on my control board, I don't want to put stranded wire in there and crimp down the connector. Um, and I'm definitely not going to tin them because tinning can fail. It can get soft and then you'll have a, a bad connection. Your, your plug will overheat and you don't want to start a fire or have a problem. So if you don't have a solid piece of wire going in and you have stranded wire, I recommend that you get these barrel connectors. Let me show you how they work. another piece of wire here. Take that back about a quarter of an inch. Wrap all the strands together. Let me find a very small barrel connector that will fit in. Simply slide the two together. And here's the tool for the barrel connector. It has a square jaw in the middle. It crimps on all four sides at once. It, it, it ratchets down into place. There's a tensioner on it to set the tension. I left this alone when I got it. You simply take the round connector, slide it in, hold it into place with your wire inserted all the way. You simply crimp it all the way down. And when you're done, as you can see, it's been crimped on all four sides, and that's good to go. And that's perfect, and that'll work perfect on my control board. Um, it's a wonderful little tool. They're very reasonable on Amazon. If you guys like, I'll put a link in the description below for where I've got the different tools at and the sets that I bought. The JST and DuPont connectors and for the barrel connectors. Well, that's about it, guys. I hope that you learned something here today. Maybe I showed you something you didn't know. I know that whenever I need help with anything, I look to YouTube. I go and find a video and I try to learn how to do something or get other ideas from other people. And this is my version of uh, 
how to work with JST connectors and uh, barrel connectors. So thank you very much and happy printing.